Hi guys, I'm Cody J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today is part two of seven in my skincare routine 101, going back to the basics little series here on my channel. I don't have an official title for it, so it is what it is. So today we're gonna be focusing on our second step, which is exfoliation. So if you guys are interested in learning about the basics when it comes to both chemical and manual exfoliation, give this video a like and let's get started. Okay guys, so like I said, today is part two of seven in my Back to Basics skincare routine series here on my channel. If you like this type of series and this video specifically, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. It really definitely helps me out a lot. So today we're gonna to be talking about exfoliation. Now there are two types of exfoliation that we're gonna talk about and that is manual exfoliation and chemical exfoliation. So like I said in my first video, if you've seen it already, I'm going to try and keep these videos relatively short. I don't want them to be super long since this is a series. I just wanna give you all of the information in a way that is easy for you to understand and apply it to your skincare routine. And if you don't have one, it'll help you create one. So when it comes to exfoliation, there are two types, like I said, manual and chemical. Manual exfoliation is what the majority of people do, and manual exfoliation is using things like sugar scrubs or anything gritty where you're really going in and you're actually scrubbing your skin. It's obviously going to be removing some dead skin cells. It promotes skin cell turnover. It unclogs your pores. But my personal opinion on manual exfoliation is to stay away from it. Now, obviously not everyone can do a chemical exfoliation, and I will get to that in a moment, but with manual exfoliation, it's typically a lot cheaper to do. Um, another type of manual exfoliation is like microdermabrasion. Um, that's a little bit more advanced, not something people typically do every single day. So with manual exfoliation, although it does a decent job at removing any buildup and you know just nastiness in your skin and just getting rid of dead skin cells, brightening your face, it does do a good job of doing all that, but you run the risk of micro tears in your skin, which are little tiny little microscopic tears in your skin that you don't really see you know, with the naked eye. But what that does is it allows your skin to get infected a little bit more easily. So oils can get into it, just you know, dirt, debris, bacteria. You can cause a lot of issues immediately as far as acne is concerned. But also it's been proven to prematurely start aging your skin. So it's definitely not something I would recommend for people to do. You know, if you're going to manually exfoliate with like a sugar scrub, for example, then once a week max is all I would say to do. It's definitely not something that you need to incorporate into your skincare routine every single day. If you're literally rubbing your face with something gritty like that, it's going to start being like sandpaper and it's just gonna start damaging your skin. There is such a thing as over exfoliating. So when you over exfoliate your skin, you're not giving your skin any time to regenerate the cells that were just removed. So you're just going down lower and lower and lower down your skin layer levels to where you shouldn't be at in the first place. And you're also gonna start compromising what's called the skin barrier or moisture barrier, which is just a combination of moisture and oils and just fatty acids, things that belong on your skin. It protects your skin from free radicals and the environment. So it's definitely not something you want to damage. So when it comes to manual exfoliation, you do run a much higher chance of damaging your natural skin barrier than if you did chemical exfoliation. So definitely something I would really want you guys to start thinking about a little bit is, are you manually exfoliating your skin? And if you are, are you doing it too much? So one of the worst, and I do mean worst, products when it comes to manual exfoliation that I see a lot of people using are walnut scrubs. Walnut scrubs cannot be broken down to a small enough level that it's not going to damage your skin. So even with like Kylie Skin, I'm sure a lot of you, hopefully, had heard about the issues with Kylie Skin's walnut scrub. So a lot of people were having issues with the Kylie Skin walnut scrub because it was damaging their skin, they were getting very irritated, it was increasing their sensitivity overall because they're just pretty much rubbing their skin raw. And like I said, it will cause micro tears to your skin. And like I said, it can start prematurely aging your skin and it does not do anything good for you in the long run. So it's not something I would ever recommend anybody use. So if you have one of those St. Ives walnut scrubs, please just for me, for little old me, just throw it in the trash. Just throw it in the trash and get something different. So the second type of exfoliation is chemical exfoliation. In my opinion, chemical exfoliation is the best because not only can it go to a deeper but appropriate level of your skin, it's so much less harsh on your skin and there are not nearly as many negative side effects as there are with manual exfoliation. There are a lot of things like micro tears that you don't have to worry about at all because you're not scrubbing your face with something. I also just think it does so much better when you're using chemical exfoliants because you're combining with other products, both pre and post chemical exfoliant. So 
all together, everything just works together really, really well and gets you the results that you want. So not only will it get you the results that you want, but you're most likely gonna see results a lot faster because chemicals obviously are gonna be a lot more strong than something more manual like a sugar scrub. So I have my little phone here and I have some products that I have either used or currently do use and I just have them all here because I use a lot of products so it's easy for me to forget them and I wanna make sure I give you the exact products I use just because it's something that I can personally speak on. Now, again, everyone's skin is different. Everyone reacts to things differently. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa so please just keep that in mind. So two of my favorite products are the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant and it has salicylic acid in it. Now that product is really good because it's not super strong but it's not super weak either. You definitely start seeing results in a timely manner but it's not strong enough to make you really sensitive to anything and it's not weak enough to make it feel like you're not getting any results. Salicylic acid is a proven ingredient that really destroys bacteria and it really is a good ingredient to use. Now, you gotta be careful with certain products when it comes to salicylic acid because there are products like Proactive, which I do not like at all. It, Proactive disgusts me. I did a video on it, it'll be up at some point, but the way they use salicylic acid with other products is just a bad combination and it's too much and it's too harsh on the skin. So when you just have a little bit of salicylic acid like this product has, it's enough to be efficient without really damaging your skin, especially if you use it appropriately. Now, just like with manual exfoliation, you don't wanna over exfoliate when it comes to chemical exfoliation either because you can still damage your natural skin barrier and you can damage your skin in general and it's just something you don't want, obviously. Now, another product that I use once per week that I love so much is from The Ordinary, I'm sure, all of you have seen it on TikTok, people misuse it and then they complain that their skin is damaged and terrible and it's just because they don't follow directions. But it is an AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. Now it comes in a little dropper bottle. It's like that red bloody looking mask that everybody loves to wear. So you just drop it on your face and pat it in or rub it in or you can put it in your hands and apply it. You wanna be very careful with it because you don't want it to run in your eyes of course. You don't want it to get in your mouth. You don't need a ton of it but you definitely feel it right away, at least I do. Now I do have sensitive skin, but obviously this is not a product that you wanna use after you've like shaved or anything like that because I made that mistake one day, freshly shaven, and then like two hours later I applied it and when I tell you my face was on fire, oh my gosh, I was like gritting my teeth, it was so painful, but that was my fault, not the product. But when you do apply this, typically you're gonna feel some tingling. Now tingling is okay and it's normal, it is a chemical exfoliant. So if you have tingling, that's fine. If you have severe burning or anything more than like a tolerable tingle, take it off right away, neutralize it with cold water, don't put it on again, it's gonna be too much for your skin. Now, this product can be used once or twice per week, it says, but I would recommend only using it once. I don't feel like twice a week is necessary, but since you are chemically exfoliating, you are doing a better job at exfoliating your skin than if you did it manually, like I said, with a sugar scrub. So absolutely do not do not use a manual product like a sugar scrub and then go in with a chemical exfoliant like this peel from The Ordinary. Doing double exfoliation is so, so bad for your skin and it's gonna literally hurt you and hurt your skin, damage your skin. It literally is just, no. So bad, so don't do it. So only do manual exfoliation once per week, which I don't even recommend manual exfoliation because I don't like it, or do chemical exfoliation once per week. You really don't need to do it more than that. Now, the purpose of exfoliating your skin, again, is to remove dead skin cells, promote skin cell turnover. These products will also help work on fine lines, wrinkles, it can work on hyperpigmentation, it can brighten your face depending on the type of product you use and what other active ingredients these products have. Now there are so many different types of chemical exfoliants on the market. Obviously that comes with either smaller, all the way up to very, very, very large price points. I don't personally think you need to spend a ton of money on these. Like I said, the peeling solution from The Ordinary is very affordable. So for me, I use this chemical exfoliant when I feel like my face needs a refresh. So I try to obviously do my skincare morning and night every single day, which hopefully you are as well. So when I feel like my face is kind of gross or it feels a little bit congested, then I'll apply this mask for the full 10 minutes. And when I take it off and I finish my skincare, my skin feels so soft. It feels literally brand new. It's the absolute best feeling. And whenever I have breakouts, which I get them just like probably everybody else does, regardless of how much skincare you do, you can still get breakouts. I'm no different. So the other night, like I said, I tried out a lot of new products. I had pretty bad breakouts after that. Um, I used this mask and literally the next day, almost all my little dots were gone. So it's a really, really good product. But just make sure that when you're using chemical exfoliants that you do them properly. Read the directions, follow the directions, 
Don't overuse them and don't misuse them. So if you're not exfoliating your skin or you're not using a chemical exfoliant at least, please start to do that. Find something that is affordable that fits your budget and start doing it. If you have any questions on any other type of exfoliants or specific products in general and you would like my opinion on them, please comment them down below and I of course answer all of your questions like I always do. I just think that chemical exfoliant can really make a huge difference, especially if you're somebody who suffers from acne. This could be life changing for you and it's something I highly, highly recommend you start doing. So that's pretty much my little spiel when it comes to exfoliation. So like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below and I will of course answer them. If I don't have the answer right away, I will find out the answer and get it back to you as soon as possible. But that is all I have for part two of my seven part skincare series here on my YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you get a big thumbs up down below. Click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. Turn on my YouTube video post notifications by clicking that bell icon and switching it to all. And I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in part three.